What's going on guys? Got a work order for no hot water. And we're here at the apartment now. And upon arriving, I noticed the breaker is tripped. So we'll go back here, I'll show you that. There's our water heater breaker, and you can see it's in the middle. So I'm gonna flip it off and back on. There we go. It will not reset. So let's go out there and uh, we'll pull the covers off the uh, water heater there where the element and thermostats are. And we'll ohm out the uh, elements and we'll also check the uh, thermostats. And then if everything looks good there, of course we'll check the wiring as well. And then we'll check the wiring going into the unit. So let me go ahead and take these covers off. Okay, we got the covers off both uh, elements here and I got the insulation moved up taped it out of the way and we'll go ahead and we'll pull the covers off both elements here and thermostats and we'll check those out so we'll start with the top one this little tab here you're supposed to grab that lip just pull up on that it tells you right here and then just pull it out. All right, let's check all our wiring here. See if we see anything burnt or anything like that. Alright, our wiring looks good and while I was pulling off the covers here I actually lifted this cover up as well to check the wiring in there. Everything looks good in there as well. So we'll ohm out both elements here and see what we see what we get with those. Alright, so you want to go ahead and remove one of your wires off each element. Get the meter set up for uh, ohms or continuity. And we'll check the uh, top one first. And you should be reading between 12 and 13 ohms or getting continuity. There's our continuity, 12.7. All right, check the bottom one. We've got continuity, and that one's 12.7. So both of our elements are good, and all our wiring looks good. Uh, so we'll go, we'll hook this back up here, um, and then we'll go check out the breaker. Maybe we have a bad breaker. Okay, I got the wires back on, both elements, and these covers, they just push on. Just line up where the uh, thermostat is there, and just push them on. Usually you'll click, like that, bottom one. Now let's do the top one. That one there is like a little bent, but up here is where it needs to go on that tab. But it's, this one here didn't click, but it's on. All right, so go ahead, put the insulation down. Fold your wires back over. Okay, we're at the breaker box. There's our water heater breaker, it's still off. And I'm just gonna go ahead and remove these two top screws and the two bottom screws. And we'll get this whole cover off and we'll see what our breaker looks like. All right, the cover's off. Here's our water heater breaker and our wiring. Wiring looks good. Don't see anything burned or anything like that. So I'm wondering if we just got a weak breaker here. It's 
staying on now. Oh, I just seen a spark back there. But I heard like a little sizzling in here uh, in the breaker itself there when it was on. See, it's getting hot and then it will trip out. I think that's what's going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull the breaker out and we'll swap out the breaker. I believe that's the issue here. You can hear it sizzling. I didn't know if the mic picked it up or not, but I think our breaker's just getting uh, overheated and then it's tripping and it wouldn't stay on earlier because they were uh, trying to turn it back on and so was I. So now that it cooled off, it's staying on until it starts to heat back up. So we'll go ahead and pull this out and get a new 30 amp double pull breaker. Okay, here's my two wires that were in the breaker. And there's a look at the bar. Nothing burning there. The wires weren't burnt, but I did have to cut the white wire off because this screw here was uh, stripped. I could not get it out. Uh, so ended up cutting the wire off there. But here's a look at the uh, old breaker. Don't see anything burnt inside there. Flip it over. So we got a new 30 amp breaker right here. And we'll go ahead and get this little lock on here okay now I'm just gonna go ahead and strip this wire and hook up the wires here on the new breaker pop it in place okay new breakers mounted got the wires nice and tight let's go ahead and we'll flip it on and we'll see what happens All right, I don't hear anything. Let's go uh, see if we hear the uh, water heater kicking on. Okay, the tank is on. I can hear the elements. So everything's heating up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the covers back on the front of the water heater and put the panel back on the breaker box. Okay, our water heater is heating up. We got our new breaker in. It's on, got the cover back on the uh, electrical panel. And we got the covers back on. The uh, water heater, so everything's working good, water's heating, so a bad breaker. Alright, well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.